Stay tuned for the biggest fish, the hottest bites, this week here on In-Depth Outdoors with James Holst. Look at that. Wow, is that an incredible fish? And the rest of the IDO fishing team. We're headed to the best fisheries across the upper Midwest and Canada. We'll fish longer, explore unfished bodies of water, and go further off the beaten path in search of the hottest bites in fresh water. <laughs> With Cal Schweel. What a specimen. And Joel Nilsson. This is an absolute monster. <laughs> This is In-Depth Outdoors. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Today's episode of In-Depth Outdoors comes at a uh, bittersweet point in our broadcast season. Bitter because this will be our final ice fishing episode for the 2015 ice fishing season. Uh, sweet because we're at a great destination up here at Lake of the Woods out of Ballard's Resort. And we're gonna be able to finish off this ice fishing season doing something we've always wanted to try. And that is to invite some of the fans, the people that watch our show, to come out with Joel and I and co-host an episode. So what we've got to do now is pick the guys or gals that we're gonna end up fishing with. Uh, we're gonna fish on Friday and Saturday. We're gonna have two anglers to fish with each day. They're gonna switch Friday and Saturday. So we're gonna get four total people out. So what we've got to do now is we're gonna go inside Ballard's Resort. We're gonna meet all the people in attendance, do a little mingling and get everybody to put a name in a hat. And before the night's done, we're gonna draw the winners, determine the two anglers that are gonna to get to fish with us tomorrow out on Lake of the Woods. So we're gonna head inside, do stick around. I know you're gonna to love today's show. Can I have everybody's attention, please? We're gonna draw to see who gets to fish with Joel and I tomorrow. There's kind of uh, mixed reviews on whether that's actually something anybody would want to do. <laughs> and uh, we've got names and all in the hats here. Uh, Joel gets to be Vanna White or my Vanna. Draw the name. And uh, the way it's gonna work, I believe we have a group name on each piece of paper. So if you've got more than two people in your group, you'll have to kind of work out within your group Who's gonna get to go? Might decide it by like arm wrestling contests or whatever. That's gonna be the fun part. But before you draw the name, I wanna thank everybody for coming out to Ballard's. We've always wanted to try this, to have fans of the show come out and co-host with us. Uh, we're a little scared. We're gonna be honest with you. We're not sure how this is gonna turn out, <laughs> but we're gonna give it a, a heck of a go. So uh, we're excited, uh, glad everybody came out to fish with us, and we're gonna have a fantastic time. So Joel, make it happen. Is that the hold end draw? You'll hold. Thank I'll hold. You. I'll shuffle. Right. Top of the pile, bottom. What do you Stick think? Stick to the bottom. Stick bottom. to the bottom. Way down there. All right. I got it. So we're going to draw a name tonight. We'll also do it again tomorrow night. People that win tonight won't be able to go with us tomorrow. So we'll try to get as many new people in this as we possibly can. It's a party of two. McCanley. Are there Macaulay's here? <laughs> Are there two of them? Yeah. Well, that's probably it. Is that it? Yeah. Come, Come on, on down up. and see us. Yeah. Come on up. Awesome. James. Hey, James. Kathy. Joel. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Joel. Joel. Pat McCauley. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Joel. Well, so tomorrow the trip gets to be what you want it to be. We'll do everything from fishing with you guys in a hard house to running your run on snowmobiles. What do you prefer? Uh, a little bit of everything. Oh, yeah. Sounds good. You guys have warm clothes? Yep. Wonderful. So we'll uh, meet you probably about, uh, well, right after breakfast. Uh, bring a lunch or whatever. Sure. We're better fishermen than we are cooks, so you don't yeah. want us to feed you. <laughs> we don't usually eat. 
So let's meet right back here, right before breakfast tomorrow. Okay. And then we'll just kind of finalize plans, but uh, we've got all the transportation, everything you possibly need. Just worry about staying warm. We'll have pop and water, that kind of stuff. Wonderful. And you get to be on TV. Huh? For better or for worse. Good word. Nice work. Wonderful. <laughs> nice to meet you guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. All right. All right, I believe that. I have never looked so forward to being outfished. <laughs> Sounds good. Right, exactly. All right, thanks everybody. We'll do it again tomorrow. Craftsmanship and precision are just words until you add driving passion and a knowledge of what defines rod building excellence. Tuned up custom rods are built with a perfect blend of rod balance and action. A truly custom experience achieved only with the highest quality materials. From the handle to the last guide and every thread wrap in between, it's these components along with an attention to detail that makes our customized rods a tuned up custom. Guys, ready to go fishing? Oh, yeah. Good morning. So, we've got uh, kind of two choices. And really, what we do is up to you guys. Um, there's a deeper bite, not a lot of fish, and they're, they're definitely smaller. Uh, be more action, most likely, though. Uh, or we can push in shallower, uh, where we fished yesterday, and better chance at a big fish. Not a great chance. Fishing's tough. But uh, I would suggest we just go a little bit shallower. And we at least put a you know hand on the table that can potentially catch a big fish, because okay. what's being caught out deep right now is 12 to 14 inch loggers, and that's just about it. So we'll catch those in shallow too, probably more than we want. So if you guys are up for that, I think that's what we should do. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm up for that. Wonderful. So what we're gonna do is we need to run over to uh, Grayson Beach to launch. There's some open water down here in Four Mile Bay that we don't want to mess with. So it's about a five or six minute car drive down there. Okay, we'll see you over there. What's it look like down there, Kathy? Well, it's light, not, starting to light up a little bit. Well, last night at Ballard's, we went ahead and we drew the McCanleys. At least that's the way I pronounced it. It was the Macaulays, right? Correct, yeah, <laughs> Macaulays, yeah. So I'm here with Kathy, and uh, they won. Husband and wife team won the drawing to come out and fish with James and I this morning. We're just getting set up. We've got a couple of iFish pros set up for both walleyes and pike. Uh, we've got the couple here jigging couple different holes. We've got a rattling spoon on here. So we're getting going. Kathy's seen a few fish and she's my dark horse pick to win the whole deal. <laughs> hey! Like an old hand, man. I love it. Oh, nice walleye. Look at this. Look at this. Yeah! <laughs> There's your fish, buddy. Well done. I fish pro strikes again. Uh, we had Pat over here jigging in a hole about uh, 40 feet away from uh, this set here that tripped. Took us a little while to note that the flag was up though. Yeah. I was kind of looking around. It was already in the air and for whatever reason it didn't register in my brain that um, that's a good thing. <laughs> Need to run now. <laughs> you just handled that just perfectly like an old pro, man. Yeah, thanks. You bet. Nice fish. That's what we're talking about right there. If we can climb the ladder a little bit and uh, catch some more like that, we'll be uh, happy guys. Perfect. Yeah, perfect. Thanks. All right. I'll get it reset. Done perfectly. Could not have done better. Thanks. All right. Just a plain fat head. Just a uh, red hook. We're keeping it simple. I mean, we know the bite is not strong right now. Doesn't mean we can't catch fish. So uh, we're keeping things very simple, uh, very finesse, just a plain fat head, plain hook. We're rigging light, got light line, six pound test, and we're fishing them in the iFish Pros. Uh, allows a guy to fight that uh, fish on a uh, rod and reel versus hand over hand with a tip up. That's nice. Puts yeah. the fun back in the fishing. Yeah, that's it. I need a minnow. You got any over there? Or? No. All right, I'll go grab some. There it is. There we go. Bigger. <laughs> nice work. Nice there we go. Getting a little bigger each time. Hey, there we go. That's a little bit nicer sauger, right? More of an eater variety, I like that. We keep hearing about how good the Ballard's fish fry is. 
we're on the meal plan, but we might uh, deviate <laughs> and eat fish tonight. Open sesame. There we go. You know, we've had flurries throughout the day, and that's that's really what a tip-up bite's all about because you know you set your lines, you stake your claim, the trap is set, you're ready to go, but you gotta wait for fish to push in occasionally. So James and I have been tending the baits, making sure everything's loaded up and ready, and here we are. We're in one more of those waves of activity. New for 2015, the release of the WX1910 from Skeeter Boats redefines the features and performance anglers can expect from a 19-foot boat, including the torque transfer system, making the hull on the WX1910 the strongest ever built, the React keel, enabling unparalleled boat control in tough conditions, and integrated jump seats for the ultimate in seating flexibility. Visit your local Skeeter Boats dealer and see for yourself why no other 19-foot boat offers more advanced features, storage, and performance than the WX1910. So on the first day of the IDEO get-together, we've been uh, matched up with some great anglers from St. Paul, Minnesota. We're fishing with Pat and Kathy, and they're very enthusiastic, very happy to be here. You can tell they're really into fishing, so we're going to want to do a great job for them. Now, the bite has been tough. Typically, late March, like we're uh, in the time period we're in now, we'd expect to see a, a big push of large fish towards the rainy river mouth, where it dumps into Lake of the Woods, and those fish just aren't coming in yet in big numbers. And what's happening now is we're getting small little groups of fish coming up out of the basin. 30, 32 foot of water where the bite is really slow. It's a tough bite right now. And we figure that if we can stay here in that intermediate depth, 20 to 22 feet, and keep some uh, tip up strung along, we're going to be able to uh, pick up just a few fish throughout the day that are going to be of quality. We can go out in that deeper water, we catch all the smaller fish we want, but we're here to get Pat and Kathy on some bigger fish. And by the end of the day, if we work this strategy correctly, our hope is we're going to be able to put some big walleye on the ice form. And so far, it's working pretty good. How we doing? Yeah! <laughs> oh, wonderful, wonderful job. Here's your fish, and you know what? I think you got your husband by about a half an inch to an inch there. Yeah. That's gonna be about 23, almost 24 inches. Oh, pretty. Congratulations. All right, thanks. So that was the, the furthest flag, long run. I know. <laughs> All right. This beats a lot of little sluggers out deep, doesn't oh, it? Oh yeah, it does. We'll get her loose. So well done. Keep your hands warm. Yeah. Of course, she got it a little deeper than we'd like to see it. Yeah. But he, well, there's only one way to deal with that. Oh, no, she's gonna be fine. Piece of cake. In the back door trick here. You pull up on that line just a little bit. Here you go. Boop. There you go. Nice. Didn't even bleed. You wanna let her go? Sure. Actually, I think that might be a, a male, maybe. Some of the females get really heavy. There you go. Well done. Nice. So what, uh, you got that one on one of my uh, cameramen, Ben Brennigan, came up with the idea of running a spinner rig on a tip-up. Oh. <laughs> it's got an, a, a little chartreuse spinner on there. We've had two out of our three flags on that jobby. So uh, congrats on the great camera work, Ben, and also on the great tackle selection. Excellent. Takes a team. Yeah. I'll go get a minnow, we'll get that reset. Super. Bad news, Pat. She's got you by about an inch. Come on. <laughs> Lots of time left. Yeah. Last fish of the day right here. <laughs> there it is. You nice. got her? Oh, nice. There you go. And that one will keep, too, if you want. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Double forcep. <laughs> <laughs> you got her? You want a little hand? In there. All right. She's loose. Boom. Yeah. Should let him go? You got uh, seven to take home. Do you want one more? Yes, sure. well, thanks. Yeah. Yeah, as well. Yeah. Well, we had a great day fishing with you guys. Uh, we kept you out here uh, pretty much for the duration. I think it's about <laughs> six o'clock now. Yeah. And nobody ever says they get cheated fishing with us. It was an absolute pleasure to get to fish with both of you. Uh, you absolutely just made our day. Uh, it's pretty rare that we find people that'll come out and fish as hard as we did, and you guys kept up the entire time. So just loved every bit of it. All right, Kathy. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Pat, yeah, thank thanks. you. Good work. Yep. So now we, uh, we hustle back to Ballard's. My understanding is they've got a fish fry waiting for us. And then, of course, we get to draw another name out of a hat and see who we fish with tomorrow. Well, uh, thanks for having us. Uh, you got a, a great group of guys here, and we had an excellent time. He's mm -hmm. only OK. Maybe, <laughs> maybe just slightly better than average. But. You might trade me in for Kathy. She did great. She was hot, hot with the rod today. <laughs>
Can I have everybody's attention? We're gonna draw a name for fishing tomorrow. Now before we do that, I want to find out who caught the biggest walleye in our group today. It's all honors. I got a prize that I'm gonna give away to the person that caught the biggest walleye. Anybody beat 20, the, 27 and a quarter right here? 20, can anybody beat 27 and a quarter? Going once, going twice. All right, I have for you a Rapala VIP card. This allows you to buy anything Rapala sells at wholesale for a year. Bam! There you go, sir. That's awesome. Yes. So everybody knows the bite's tough. We fished with Pat and Kathy today at the end of the bar. They were awesome. They fished their little hinders off. Never went inside the shack. We walked away with two limits of fish. Kathy had the largest fish of the day, 24, 24 and a half. Pat had one that was probably about 22. Very tough bite, but we toughed it out. Got some nice fish on the ice. The winner that gets drawn out of this hat can expect the exact same thing, only it's gonna be windier and colder. So you might wanna leave if your name gets drawn if that doesn't sound like a good idea. <laughs> so Joel, do the honors. All right, you gotta hold this high, otherwise I'm gonna cheat. All right. All right, the Rizoka party of two. Rizoka, Rizoka, Rizoka. Are you Rizoka? Frank Rizak. Rizak, see, you spelled another one wrong. What the heck? Every person in this bar wanted us to redraw, but we held out for you. You're the man. All right, we're going fishing tomorrow. Great. Who's your partner? Who's your buddy? Buddy, me. There you go. James. Hey, James. Thanks, Joel. Good hey. to meet you guys. Frank. You guys up for uh, fishing in the cold and in the wind all day long tomorrow? Catch some fish? Oh, yeah. Awesome. Meet me right there at the corner of the bar tomorrow morning at 7.30. We'll go. Okay. We got we got transportation, we got uh, electronics, rods, rods if you don't have them, all the bait and tackle, tackle you'd ever want. Yep. See you in the morning. Thanks, James. You bet. Thank you very much. Good luck. Yeah, see you. Introducing the new wireless PanCam camera system from Markham Technologies. The groundbreaking interface that allows an angler to wirelessly monitor and control the left-right pan of a remote camera from up to 300 feet away. The Markham PanCam system transmits a live video stream via Wi-Fi back to your Apple or Android device, and the free Markham app is even capable of connecting to multiple cameras at the same time for multi-camera on-ice coverage. This winter, take full control of your underwater camera with Markham Technologies' wireless PanCam camera system. Hey guys. Good morning. Good morning. James. Frank. How are you? I see you come prepared. I'm ready. So here's kind of what we're thinking. Hey, Good, Good to meet you. you. Frank and Mitch. Um, yesterday we uh, stayed in shallow, ran a bunch of tip ups, jigged spoons. You know, each guy had one uh, spoon rod and uh, caught a lot of fish. Um, able to keep a couple limits for the group that we fished with and then uh, had a couple bigger fish. But it's uh, a lot of work, uh, not a lot of uh, uh, easy fish right now. Mm -hmm. So we're thinking about going back in that area if you guys are comfortable with it. It's going to be a little colder today, obviously. Well, we got a couple houses that everybody can warm up in, but um, the key to catching fish is going to be how many times you check those tip-ups and how much time you spend out on the ice chasing around, jigging you know, from hole to hole. So, uh, But we can adjust. If that's not doesn't sound good to you guys, we can... I've got two houses out in, the, out in the pack that we can go into if we want to do that too. So uh, really kind of let me know what, what you're thinking and how you feel about those options. I mean, does Let's the- catch fish. Well, all right, we'll go shallow. Yeah. yeah, the wind's gonna be okay. It's gonna be a little cold this morning, but I think by about uh, 10 a.m. it should be pretty decent. I think the temp's supposed to rise pretty quickly, so Good. we'll be okay. We'll see you there. All right, wonderful guys. All right, forward to it. You Thanks. bet, thank you. All right, on to the next hole. The second day of the ideal get together here has been a bit of a challenge. Uh, this morning we were greeted with temperatures at three degrees. Uh, two days ago, it was 43 degrees at the same time of day, so just a horrible cold front. And of course, Joel and I really want to get Frank and Mitch on some fish, so we've been bouncing all over the place. Uh, our first location this morning was just a complete bust. Uh, where we fished with Pat and Kathy the day prior, 
caught some nice fish, was just absolutely dried up. One thing that made it kind of hard as we bounced around uh, is we, we saw almost no fish activity. Uh, each location we tried, it just was deserted, absolutely devoid, so we didn't really have any information to go on. And now we're here out in front of Grayston Beach in 26, 27 foot of water, and we're finally starting to mark some fish. We're seeing some fish that are responding to baits and then tripping the flags and our tip-ups and our iFish Pros. We'll probably sit in this location now until sundown and hope that we see a wave of fish push in once the light levels start to reduce. Okay, feel if he's there. Oh yeah. All right. Get him? Yep. Nice! Good hook set. Small one. Hey, there we go. That's an eater. eater. Wow, he, he did the log roll in the line. <laughs> We've got hecklers. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> He might not have a choice. I don't know if he'll unhook well enough to go back. Nice work, Frank. Throw him on the ice. So that is the first fish we've had in a while. Sun's getting a little bit lower on the horizon. We've got some cloud cover coming up. Hopefully that's something that changes the bite a little bit for us. We've been picking off onesies, twosies here and there, just a couple, but we're looking for a late low light kind of push. And that's, uh, I guess the past couple days what's been going on so down with another one huh i marked a big fish about uh, 15 minutes ago he came up put one eyeball on that my spoon and just swam away so uh, it just wasn't going to be wasn't going to happen tonight funny some days are like that you know we've caught a lot of fish today they just haven't been the ones we're looking for and sometimes sometimes you fish all day for that one big bite and well, it's sunset and it still hasn't yet happened, but uh, we do have a lot of fish on the ice. Nobody can say we didn't uh, <laughs> fish it from start to finish. Um, I, we're definitely going to end the show right here. Um, this is also the end of our ice fishing season. So uh, day two of the Ballard's uh, In-Depth Outdoors get-together is in the books. Had a lot of fun fishing with you guys. Oh, it was, yeah, it was a great time. Yeah. Unfortunately, the cold front, I believe, put us in a headlock and then <laughs> held us down like a little brother all day long. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, we get to go back to uh, Ballard's and uh, uh, soak our wounds a little bit, uh, and we'll, we'll forget all about today. But I won't forget uh, getting to meet a couple great guys and having some uh, wonderful time out here on the ice with you. Now, for everybody at home, the ice fishing season's over. We're packing it up, putting the snowmobiles away, and we're dragging the boats out. So uh, <laughs> definitely, uh, you're going to want to tune in uh, the week after this episode. We're going to be out on the soft water somewhere, and we do have a lot of great shows in mind. Uh, until we get through the middle of May. So uh, one more thank you, Joel. I want to thank you <laughs> on behalf of all the In-Depth Outdoors Pro staff that has made our season possible. It's guys like you that are willing to drive all over the Midwest, the ice belt for that matter, that to come out and fish with us and you know share your knowledge, your expertise, uh, that really make these shows possible. So thank you on behalf thank of you. all the guys. <laughs> Hey Appreciate Joel, it. James, thanks a lot guys. So nice it's meeting you. Good meeting with you guys. Pleasure. It's a great thing Pleasure. that you guys do. Uh, get to meet your, the people that are on your site and taking us fishing and just showing us a great time. You guys are why we do it. If nobody watched, there'd be no point. So, thanks uh, guys. You bet. Thank you very much. From all of us, from Mitch, Frank, Joel and I, thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. For more info on the latest fish reports, gear recommendations, and hottest techniques, connect with us online at indepthoutdoors.com or follow us on Facebook at In-Depth Outdoors. And if you enjoyed today's show, be sure to let our sponsors know.